Uh, we meet every Wednesday morning at 7, so here in about 15 minutes, this place can fill up. Uh, we have about 25 to 30 dedicated kids that come each week. Uh, for me personally, it's, it's as far as working with students, I work here at the high school, and it's the highlight of my week. I really enjoy watching the kids uh, talk about the gospel, uh, reflect on how Christ has worked in their life and how they can impact uh, others and how they've learned through their, their journey and their walk with Christ and, and try to help each other out, lean on each other and uh, encourage each other. I think that's the, the neatest part of it. Mm -hmm. We uh, are all busy too. I mean, how, um, how, much, how streamlined is it? Is it become a big deal or is it like preparation okay? Uh, preparation's fine. I meet with our leaders uh, once to twice a month. Uh, we map out what, uh, what lessons we want to do, whether it's the athletic devotions in the back of the Bible or maybe some of the, the scriptures have good questions that go with them and we want to do something based off the scripture. Uh, we try to bring in a guest speaker once a month. Uh, usually an area youth pastor or area pastor, and let the kids pick uh, someone that they think will inspire them. So um, the kids do a lot of the work. It's really my job just to meet with the leaders and then set things up on Wednesday morning. But yeah, the, kid, the kids run it. What's been some of the results? Have you seen things play out, whether it's in the hallways, the classroom, or on the field? Probably the biggest result is just, just growing. Um, and, and, and encouraging our students and, and to, to reach out to others and inviting them and, and not being afraid to, to talk to other people about the impact that Christ can have and, and what we can do here at FCA to help encourage their walk with Christ. I'd say that's the biggest impact. So I get really excited when we start a Wednesday morning and I see new faces. It's like awesome. That, that means that behind the scenes work from student to student is taking place. Mm -hmm. And lastly, what's your encouragement <laughs> for uh, that teacher or someone in a community that's like to go for it, to, 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 to be that, to take that step of faith? Not to be intimidated by the, you know, it really doesn't take a lot of work. I know, you know, working in a high school when you're running a club or a sport, it is a lot of work, but, you know, if you can just get a group of 10 kids, that's all you need to get it started, and you just meet with them and find a time to meet on a regular basis and then encourage them to outreach to other kids. Um, you know, most communities have area churches, so you get in touch with them and encourage them to tell their kids. And um, so, I mean, don't don't be afraid. And at the end of the day, we're we're all disciples of Christ, and that's that's why we're here. Is we're working for the glory of God. So mm -hmm. so go for it.